Well, happening today, we are expecting to learn more specifics about a new agreement between Foxconn and the state of Wisconsin. So far, we know the deal will include reduced tax breaks for the company's smaller than anticipated facility in Mount Pleasant. Specifics of this new deal are still largely unknown this morning. The Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation Board is set to meet today to review this new agreement. Our Ryan Jenkins is live in our newsroom now with a look ahead to what we could learn from that meeting today. Ryan, good morning. Susan Vince, good morning. We do expect to learn more specifics of this agreement during the WEDC meeting this afternoon. So far, as you just mentioned, details really have not been shared. We do know that Foxconn and the state have been negotiating for months on a scaled back agreement that will give Foxconn some more flexibility and the state a lower tax liability. You might remember the original 2017 deal called for Foxconn to invest $10 billion to build a large TV screen manufacturing plant in Mount Pleasant in exchange for creating jobs and uh, constructing facilities. The project included $2.85 billion in taxpayer subsidies for Foxconn. Now Mark Cass with the Milwaukee Business Journal says there's one key change in this restructured deal that was just announced by the governor on Monday. I think it's flexibility, 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 and I think that's what they've asked for. But I also think it's kind of realizing we're not going to get these huge numbers anymore. We're not going to get the huge incentives we want. We're going to get something that's more kind of realistic to what's going to happen there. OK, so here's a closer look at Foxconn's timeline in Wisconsin. Former President Trump announced Foxconn was coming July 26, 2017. The following June, Trump, former Congressman Paul Ryan and former Governor Scott Walker were among those who broke ground on the plant in Mount Pleasant. And since then, roads have been widened, land flattened, homes demolished, and the plant has not built anything yet. Well, the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation's board, which includes both Republicans and Democrats, is now going to have to vote on this new agreement. We expect that to happen today and this morning. As we wait to learn more about this deal, we are going to dig into what some of our elected officials are saying about this news. We'll have that coming up in our next half hour. But for now, reporting live in the newsroom, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.